Hi friends, I'm Madhavta from Easy Approach and it's the 38th video of Flutter video series. It's been a while since I made the video, it's because we have shifted in a new house and it took a few days to set up everything over here. So anyways, we are continuing from where we left off. And as you know, we were doing Firebase and Flutter and we had to do Firebase storage. But before moving on to the Firebase storage, I want to quickly talk about a plugin that's so useful in any practical Flutter application and that we'll be using in the next videos as well. So the plugin we are going to discuss is Image Picker that we can use to let user pick image from gallery or directly from the camera. And then we can use the selected picture in the application for anything we want, like for uploading it on Firebase storage or like for editing and applying or applying some filter on the image. So before doing anything, we have to install the plugin in our application. So here is the plugin on pub.dev. You can find it with the name as well. And now in the installation tab, you can find this line that you have to paste in your project pubspec.yaml file in order to use this package or plugin in your Flutter application. So just go in your pubspec and after Cupertino icons, you can just paste it and you have to click here, packages get. This would install this package in your application and then you can use whatever inside this package in your Flutter application. Now let's see the design of the application or the code we have already done to save the time. So we have material app widget which is kind of a root widget for the application and inside it we have given my home page which is a stateful widget defined right below it. And inside uh, the build method of this uh, my home page widget we have a scaffold and inside it we have an app bar and we have a center text and we have a floating action button as well. And now what we want to achieve is when the user would tap on this camera button, which is actually a floating button, it let user to choose image from the camera. And after choosing the image, we need to show the selected image in place of the text in the center of the screen. So this is what we want to achieve. So now let's make thing real. So first of all, we need to make the instance of file at the top of the state of the widget. So just come here and make the instance of file which is from .io and you can give any name like image because that will be the place where we will store the selected image from the user. And now we have to make the future for letting user to select image from the gallery or either from camera. So just write here future and you can give any name like get image. And inside it, we have to make a final variable for storing the selected image from the user. And you can give any name like uh, just image without the underscore because we have already given here. And now we have to use image picker. And inside it, we have a future. You can see here a future that will return a file. So we have to use this. And now we have to define here the source from where the user has to select uh, or pick the image. So there we have two different sources. The first one is the image source dot gallery and dot camera. So if you want to select, if you want to let user select image from the camera, you can give camera and you can give gallery for uh, a letting user to select image from the gallery. So we want to uh, let user to select image from camera. That's the reason why I'm giving here image source dot camera. And as you have seen, this is uh, a future. So we have to use here a weight as well. And since we are using here a weight, we need to use async in the future as well. So this is all good. And now as we have picked the image from the user and save in a local variable, now we have to set the state variable this underscore image as well. So you can do this set a state and inside it you just have to use image equals to image. So this is all good. Now what we have to do, we have done uh, everything like we have picked the image and we have stored it in the state variable as well. And now we have to check if uh, this uh, is uh, this image is null or not and if it is null then we will show the text and if it is not null we will show this image. 
So for checking if the image is null, uh, we have to write underscore image double equals to null. And, and if it is really null, then you can just show this text widget. And in the else, you can show the selected image, which is selected by the user from the camera. So as you have stored the image in a file, so you have to use image.file. And here you just have to pass the name of uh, the instance where you have actually stored uh, the image. So we have it stored in the underscore image. So that's why we have given here. So this is all good and now at the last we have to call this get image future when the user would tap on the floating action button. So for this you just have to write here uh, the name of the future in the on press. So you just uh, have to remove this and you can just write get image. So this is all good. So now we can test whatever we have coded. So now let's uh, run this application. And while it is running, I want to mention one thing. Many of you guys complain about the code is not visible and suggested me to either zoom or increase the font size while I'm coding. So I really appreciate your suggestion and I'll always open for it because it's ultimately uh, improve what I'm doing. So thank you again for the suggestion. Let's see if it is running. Yeah, the application is running now. Now let's click on this. So you can see here uh, the camera is open now and if I click here it would capture the image. It's not the physical device, it's an emulator but you can run it on your physical device as well. So if I capture the image and select the image. Now you can see the selected image in the center of this uh, application. So this is it. Uh, you can also use uh, the image source uh, here, uh, the gallery. Uh, you can switch to the gallery mode and uh, in that mode you can, uh, the user uh, can uh, choose the image from the gallery as well, not from the camera. So there are two different options you can uh, choose. And this is it from this video. Actually, we have to use uh, this uh, in the next video. Uh, we'll upload the image from uh, user uh, to the Firebase storage and then we'll do further more thing with that image. So this is it from this video. Uh, thank you for watching the video. If you haven't subscribed my channel, please subscribe my channel and please share the videos with those who want to learn Flutter with easy approach. Thank you for watching.